here we are going to learn what are corresponding angles as far as the corresponding angles are concerned we need to get back to the concept of transversal so when we take two parallel lines and then of course we have the transversal here the transversal what it does is it creates angles all over 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now what are corresponding angles now two angles are said to be corresponding angles first of all the first important point if they are on the same side of the transversal any angle on the same side of the transversal are corresponding angles well no it is one of the most important factors for any two angles to be corresponding now one more thing that's very important is it has to be either above the two lines that's being intersected or below the two lines so these two angles can be corresponding angles similarly say i'll draw another parallel line a smaller one of course i mean let's have a transversal another possibility of corresponding is this angle and this angle are corresponding we have two parallel lines and then we have a transversal this and this can be corresponding why because they are on the same side of the transversal so here the two angles are on the left side of the transversal and both the angles are below these blue lines and another possibility of corresponding angles will be these this one and this one both on one side of the transversal both above the blue line quite simple right but this is like very important so these are corresponding angles any two angles can be called corresponding angles if they lie on the same side of the transversal and both of them should be above or below the blue lines here. 